and found in time. Data entry for ship's log. Location, Sea of Galilee. Solar date, 004.36. Professor Humphrey Bumble at controls brings Flying House to his usual smooth landing. That looks like moonlight on the water. That's exactly what it is. You mean we're on water? The house doesn't seem to be sinking. Not yet. We better find the professor. Right, come on. Wake the cookies. Professor. Ah, uh, you're up. How come you switched on the time machine while we were sleeping? I thought I was supposed to be your navigator. Sorry, but you'll notice I have fixed the time machine. The only problem is you set us down on water. That's terrible news. I can't swim. Do not panic. We will stay afloat for two hours. Be that as it may, I say take off. As you say. Seem to be on solid ground. Why must we always crash? Turn on the light. We are experiencing power blackout caused by shock of hard landing. That's no big deal. We can fix it in the morning. Right now, oh, I want some sleep. What say we all go back to bed? We might as well. Data entry in ship's log. All quiet after emergency landing. Professor Bumble and children all sleeping. Only faithful robot continues to work and keep. forward in time, at least three or four years. Is that all? At this rate, I'll be an old man by the time we get back to our time. That's terrible. I got us here. I'll get us back. Professor Bumble, I can tell you where we are. It's in my memory bank. That town is Nazareth. I've heard of Nazareth. Isn't that where Jesus lived when he was little? Mm-hmm. Hmm. What's more, when we landed last night, it was in the Sea of Galilee, six miles wide, 14 north to south. It's depth. Uh, mm -hmm. I cannot recall depth. I think the time has come to recharge your batteries. This is true. I have been feeling very run down of late. It's a good day for it. The sun's very bright. Might as well get yourself fully charged. Indubitably. Mm -hmm. Fully charged? <laughs> 
That's right, Corky. Sir has solar batteries. It's the sunlight that'll bring his energy back up to where it should be. That's what I thought he meant. He's going to take a thumb back. How about it, Angie? Shall we go into town? Why not? Corky, don't you want to come with us? I'm taking a fun bath with Thur. I need recharging, too. Oh, there, Corky. He'll be all right. Okay, let's go. Ah, this feels good. All systems working better already. Memory returning. Thanks to the sun, I now recall all data on city of Nazareth. Nazareth located on plain of Galilee between Mount Tabor and Mount Carmel place where Jesus spent his childhood fulfilling prophecy that he would be called a Nazarene. At this time, city has many beggars and thieves. Justin, are we safe? Uh, I'm not sure. Just stay close to me. This place looked much more beautiful when we saw it from the top of the hill. Maybe we should believe? You may be right, Angie. There's only one problem. Yes? Which way is the right way? I don't know. Just follow your nose, I guess. Huh? <laughs> hmm. Smell that? Justin, wait! Where are you going? Like you said, I'm following my nose. This is it. Don't get fresh with me, you little brat. Bet I can guess what you got in that basket. <laughs> Smells like fresh bread. That's just what it is. But if you expect to get any, you're sadly mistaken. Hey, wait! Hear me out! Oh, boy! Now, don't be sassy. Well, why wouldn't you give us some bread? Because. Look over there. What? Those other women are getting bread. I'll bet that's a bakery. I'll bet you're right. Come along, Jesus. Come along, Jesus? Do you think? Jesus, stay with me. Oh, I'm sure that woman's Mary. Mm-hmm. I agree. Yep. I recall, at the time of Jesus' birth, Mary said, Joseph will take very good care of me and the baby. He's a carpenter in Nazareth. Right. And now we're in Nazareth, the same town she mentioned. That's right. Come on, let's watch and see which way they go. Oh, look at Jesus. How big he's getting. You forget that we've moved ahead in time about four years since yesterday. Come on, let's follow them, Justin. Hmm. Great. from me. You lazy good for nothing. You're not getting any of my bread. Now get away. Huh? Mm -hmm. Please, just one little piece, please. Hello, mister. Here you are. Oh. Well, uh, may I have some? Mm -hmm. Thank you both very much. <laughs> Joseph, we're back. We're back. And just in time to fix some lunch. I'm hungry. That's Joseph's voice. Why don't we talk to him? I remember. Mary, come see who's here. Yes, Joseph. Were you calling me? Oh, our little friends. I know. We saw you yesterday. Justin! Oh, I mean, we're happy to see both of you again. We just happened to be passing. And you remembered our invitation. Good. Please, come in. Indeed. Thanks. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In my whole life, I've never enjoyed bread this much. Same for me. Nothing like bread when you're hungry. And how's Corky? He's fine. He's back at the ship. He means he's back at our house taking a sunbath right now. Achoo! Ah. I understand. He could be playing with Jesus if he were here. Not too many youngsters around. But I'll bet you're glad you're back from Egypt. Mm-hmm. We started back as soon as we got word that King Herod was dead and it was safe for us to return. He was a bad king. Well, excuse me, I have to get back to work. But you two relax and enjoy yourselves. 
Thank you. How would you like to help me with my work? Oh, that'd be nice. Hard at work all day. Well, I usually keep pretty busy, but right now I'm trying hard to get ahead because there'll be no working during the Feast of Passover. The Feast of Passover? That's right. Passover is a very important holiday for all Jews because it celebrates our freedom from slavery in Egypt. People gather in Jerusalem from all over the country to worship God. It's a great celebration. That's very interesting. I want to go to Passover. Oh, you'll go many times, all right, before you're 12 years old. Why 12? Because in Israel, we assume that a boy will soon be a man when he reaches the age of 12. Let's see. He's four years old at the present. That means eight years before. Dustin, what are you muttering about? Nothing. Just figuring. This has been a wonderful day. And the dinner was delicious. You are welcome to spend the night with us. It's getting dark already. I'm afraid my little brother would worry. Perhaps we'll see you again sometime. Bye! Bye. I love to corky. Come back again. God be with you. Bye! Bye! Bye. They're both so nice. And very intelligent. Indeed. I want to hear a story. Tell me about Moses. Not tonight, young fella. Tomorrow's going to be a big day. We go to synagogue bright and early, so you'd better get to bed. I'll tell you about Moses tomorrow night. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Off to bed with you. You want to move ahead in time just eight years? So that's what you were trying to figure out back there. Wouldn't you like to see him when he's 12 years old? How about it? Can you make the flying house move forward just eight years? It'd be possible to do, but it would need very precise calculations to do it. Do not worry about a thing. It would be a cinch for me to calculate. Of course, now that you're recharged. Wait a minute. Don't you think we should be getting back to our own time? You have a point. But don't you want to see Jesus when he's 12 years old? Well, we'd like to, but what do you want to do, Corky? Why, ask me. Why are you being so uppity? Are you mad at Angie and me because we spent a day with Jesus, Mary, and Joseph? You had a chance to go, but you wanted to stay here and sunbathe. All right, but you didn't tell me you were going to meet Mary. How could we? We didn't know they were there. Why can't you be like Jesus? He's a good boy, much more grown up. Well, I'm not. <laughs> That'll just be enough of that. Let's set the time machine for Jerusalem eight years from now. Fix coordinates. Okay. Locked on coordinates. Ready for takeoff. Ready for takeoff. Take off. <laughs> Information data input. Jerusalem at time of Passover. Many people travel to city to celebrate, see old friends, worship together, and mingle with crowds in marketplace. Let's keep beautiful fun. Guys, get your minds here. Fix, fix. Watch out, you all be killed. I wouldn't touch her. She looks like she never took a bath. She's better off dead. Are you all right, old woman? Thank you, boy. You're bleeding. Mother, come here. Is she badly hurt, Jesus? Let's see what we can do to help. How does your arm feel now? Better? It feels fine. What's all this? Treating that old hag like she's the queen of Sheba. 
Well, somebody had to help this poor woman. What if this happened to your mother? And I suppose you're her guardian angel. Leave him. Better not to get involved. <laughs> Jerusalem, exactly as planned. That proves that my time machine is the greatest machine ever made, and it was invented by me. It appears so great. Why do we always crash land? Don't complain. It could be worse. Justin, look at this. Wow, look at all those people. They're all traveling to Jerusalem. Must be for Passover. My calculations. Let's give credit where credit is due. With so many people, how we find Jesus? By keeping our eyes open. Come on, let's go. Me too. All of you stay together. With so much going on, I don't want any of you getting lost. We'll be careful. Bye. Wait for me. I am coming too. Well, I might as well inspect the machine, though I'd much rather join them in Jerusalem. Everybody profits. Don't you find your stay in Jerusalem very profitable? Well, I'm not sure I know exactly what you mean. People profit spiritually from worshiping the true God. Some profit from getting good bargains in the marketplace, and the merchants profit. So tell me, what would you like to buy? We're not here to buy. We're looking for someone. He's a boy from Nazareth by the name of Jesus. You expect to find one boy in this big crowd? Most of those from Nazareth have already left Jerusalem. No! I believe you're right, my friend. What do we do? Maybe we missed him. Hmm. As a matter of fact, you may stand a better chance of finding your friend now that they left Jerusalem. People from the same village usually travel as a group. They camp along the way. And, of course, they usually eat together and sing and dance, and everyone has a happy time. So all you have to do is find the camp of the Nazarenes. But where? Where? Well, somewhere between here and Nazareth. How about it? I think it's worth a try. We just might be able to find him. You bet. Excuse me, are you from Nazareth? I am not. Thank you. Carry on. So I said, pardon me, are you from Nazareth? Definitely not. Too bad. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Hey, get easy, sir. We're not robots. Just let's rest a little. Park can go on. Oh, I'm exhausted. What have we here? I am not tired. Why are you? I remember when your battery was down, you were good for nothing. You are insulting me. Take it back. Try to make me. That would be easy. All right, stop fighting, you two. Mm. Jesus. Huh? Jesus. That was Mary. Mary and Joseph both. Come on. Wait a minute. Why? Because it was only yesterday for us when we visited them, but according to their time, eight years have gone by. And when they see that we're not any older, they'll wonder how come. You're right. I forgot. But still, come on, we better all hide. Right. Jesus! Where are you? I think it's a real shame. How come we're hiding from them? We play in hide and seek? It's not easy to explain, Corky. Just take my word. We must. Jesus! I guess Jesus must have strayed from his parents. Huh. I thought for sure Jesus was with the men. But Mary, because he's only 12 years old, I thought the boy must be with you. He must still be in Jerusalem. But I don't think we have to worry. He's a bright boy and will avoid trouble. But will trouble avoid him? They search for their son? Uh-huh. Maybe Jesus plays hide-and-seek. Let's follow them. May I remind you of the words of Moses? There is this day set before you good and evil. Choose which you would serve. Ah. 
The boy is wise beyond his years. The boy truly understands the word of a god. You would think that he has attended some great rabbinical school, but the truth is, he is only a poor carpenter's son. Oh, boy. Did you see which way Joseph and Mary went? No, I didn't. Oh, oh I'm truly oh. sorry. You all right. That wasn't very polite, you know. You're absolutely right. I didn't even see the little fella. My mind was so preoccupied with news of the amazing young man at the temple. Come along. We don't want to miss him, you know. Again, my apologies. Could that young man be Jesus? Of course. Let's go. We, you look for Mary and Joseph, and if you find them, tell them what we just heard. But like you, I have grown older. You're a robot. Robots don't get me older. You're right. Only wiser. See you later. Mary, Joseph, where are you? God is spirit, and he hopes we will worship him in spirit and in truth. As the prophets have told us, God is not far away. Finally, we found him. Listen to him speak. Yet he is loving and forgiving. Jesus. Oh, I wondered where you were. We've been looking for you everywhere. How could you do this to us? Why would you worry about me? I've been here at the temple. Wouldn't you expect me to be about my father's business? Ah. Oh. I don't understand. Better come along. So you're the boy's parents. Well, may I tell you, we have never met a young man with so much spiritual understanding and genuine love of God. Wow! So that's the way it happened. He seems to be very smart for his age, even if he didn't go to school like I did. What do you mean? I suppose you're going to tell us you were smart when you were his age. Well, I really mustn't brag, but I was known as a child genius, would you believe? Too bad you could not have remained a child. Sir, you are dismissed. I was making joke. Ha ha. Ha ha. Good. Sometimes I think I should short circuit that robot's mouthpiece. <laughs> <laughs> Today, Solar Ion Robot accompanied children to temple in Jerusalem. There witnessed historical event, boy Jesus addressing the elders. Truly amazing. Day ends. All is well.